No matter what sewing machine you own, changing a needle is key. Probably the easiest way to solve any issues that you might be experiencing. A new needle will solve so many things, such as skipping the stitches, threads that are randomly breaking while you're sewing. Just put in a new needle. Now, there are different sizes of needles that are appropriate for different thicknesses of thread and different kinds of fabric. So there is a lot of things to learn about needles but just the fact that you will change one is the part of the key for successful sewing if you hit a pin and you hear that little tick 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 while it's sewing there is no point on the end of your needle and that is a key note that you need to change them so I am going to show you show you how to test whether you get your needle in back in correctly uh, there is a small pack of needles that come with this machine just a couple different sizes some bigger numbers mean for thicker fabrics and you will find that those will make a difference make sure that you are purchasing home sewing machine needles and if they are for a home sewing machine they will fit in this machine and there are a lot of brands out there we've listed some quality needle links below for you to stock up on needles so I'm going to unthread this machine and then one thing that can help is if you just want to lower the presser foot while you're changing the needle that can give you a little bit more room and then this this is your screwdriver that came with this machine, but I'm going to teach you a couple things. Number one, a screwdriver needs to be very delicately used. So I'm going to just loosen this just a little bit. So we'll drop out the needle and if it needs just a little bit more coaxing here, you'll find that a needle has a flat side on the back. So when you put the needle in, you want to make sure that that flat side is kind of on the back side of your finger and make sure that it goes as high as it will possibly go. Now on this machine, because we have a needle threader, we're gonna find that this is gonna be our way that we're gonna test whether we get our needle to the highest position. If you wanna finger tighten this screw, that would be great. If you really crank on this screwdriver in this screw, you can actually over tighten it very quickly and actually kind of break this mechanism. So be very gentle when it comes to tightening it. Of course you need to tighten it so it doesn't fall out. But what we are gonna do is just do a quick little threading with our needle threader and if it lines up with the whole of your needle, you will find that you have placed it high enough up. If it doesn't line up and your hole is a little low, you know that you just need to loosen this back up, push that needle a little bit higher, and then tighten it into place. Remember when you do re-thread your machine, make sure your presser foot is up so all the threads can get into the proper areas, and that re does require the foot to be in the up position. So don't forget to change needles. If you have any trouble, uh, that is the easiest solution, is put a correct new needle in the machine.